What did I do? Hi everybody. It's your boy Chris once again here for another poker chip video. This is a mystery unboxing video. You don't know what these chips are. I have a pretty good idea of what they are and it's a lot of them this time. I joined Poker Chip Forum in 2017 I think or 2018 and quickly discovered there was a whole world of poker chipping opportunities out there. I urge you to join the community, be a positive force for good things, say nice things, and then go on the classifieds and in the group buy section and see what's available. There's a whole world, a whole universe of poker chips that you didn't know about and that you'll find out about and it's a, it's a wonderful thing. Of course what ends up happening is that you get way too many poker chips. So one thing I found that I can do is I can sell those poker chips, some of them back to the community and recoup a little bit of that money. Uh, I don't make money, uh, it's not a business, this is just a hobby and, and it's fun. Um, by being able to sell chips back to the community at cost or sometimes a little bit more if I auction. I like the auction because then it gives everybody a chance. It's usually a little bit more than um, what I paid but not a lot more. And uh, I also hold on to a bunch of chips so there's that. But you know selling and buying is a way to kind of keep this fun hobby going. And then all of a sudden, before you realize it, three medium flat rate boxes show up. So let's get to the unboxing. I know that's what you're here for. One box at a time and we will speed this bad boy up for you. I'm not going to tell you what company this is from. I'm not going to tell you anything about these chips until we open them up and check them out. Right? Let's see what we got here. I think I'm... <laughs> I'm 99% sure I know what these are. They don't know that I would have another three box order. See, now this is a box within a box packing. This is great packing. Always important to pack your chips correctly. There's great resources on Poker Chip Forum to teach you how to pack properly. I've been doing this for years, sending and receiving chips. I know how to do it. Recently I did an order and I did not pack them correctly because I was lazy. And uh, I had to refund the seller. Anyway, what do we got here? Oh, these look like ceramic chips. Wow! And it looks like a whole bunch of them. Let me just get them out. All right. Oh, we got greens. We got blacks. This is going to be cool. I can tell this set's going to be pretty cool. They're definitely ceramics. And I can reveal to you at this time that the manufacturer, wow, the colors are unbelievable. Look at that pink. That is awesome. I can reveal to you, whoa, I'm knocked out by that. That's like a, like a blaze orange. Gosh almighty, and the whites, wow, these are just gorgeous. They're all mixed, so bring them up. I can reveal to you at this time that this manufacturer is brpropoker.com. They are the manufacturer, but they are not the designers of these chips. The designer resides only on PokerChipForum.com. So the only way you're gonna get these chips is to go through PokerChipForum.com. Get in touch with the designer. If you go on that website and look for the sale, the Super Mario Poker World, or Super Poker World set, you will see these chips. That's right, you guessed it. If you're a Nintendo fan, if you're a Mario fan, these are the chips for you. Wow, these are just stunning. I gotta put my glasses on and look at these. That's something else. We'll get close-ups here in a minute. I'm gonna speed this back up. All right. Yes, the it is an interesting thing because you know the artist who designed these, these are his designs. BRProPoker.com has to go through the designer. But then you'll also notice that these designs are based, they're a tribute to Nintendo's uh, Super Mario universe. And again, we got box in a box action here. Keep things safe. I thought about doing a packing video, but the idea is when you pack, you want to keep everything tight and well padded. And box within a box is one of the best ways you can do it. Yeah, I learned a lesson just just less than a month ago. I sent too many chips in one box and it burst open and we lost a bunch of the chips and I had to refund the seller, which I was perfectly fine doing. Look at all these cool chips. So 
I'm just going to pull out the ones that we haven't looked at yet. That's a lot. And these are more cash game chips here. So I think that's all of them. I'll open the other box just to get it out in the open. And then we're going to take a break and reposition the cameras. And we're going to put them all on display and get a close-up look at all the chips. Here's the more tournament chips. Oh, there's another denomination I forgot about. Oh, yeah. There's the 25Ks, and these are rebuy chips. Ah, oh, I should have gotten more of these. I only got 20. And that is it. Super Mario chips. Whee! I should point out, the designer does not call these Super Mario chips. He calls them Super Poker World or some innocuous. Let's look at them in close-up. Here we go! Okay, let's do some close-up magic and see. I've got an assortment of the cash chips in the back and a couple other odd things. And the tournament chips are right up front, but let's go through the tournament chips one at a time, starting with big green here. This is Luigi. It's Luigi time. For tournament 25. And what I love about these chips, besides how cool they look, whoops, they're the same on both sides. The edging is really dope. Uh, it's not aligned, but it doesn't really need to be in the design. Is I love that uh, for the tournament chips, it doesn't say, it doesn't have a dollar sign or a pound or a euro sign. It has a coin, like in the game. So it's 25 coins, 25 tournament units. That's Luigi looking badass right there. And the next tournament chip is the hundo. It's Mr. Bowser. <laughs> Ceramic, brpropoker.com, very high quality. I will repeat myself, this was manufactured by BR Pro. These are not chips that they offer in retail. To acquire these chips, you gotta do some work and get a little bit lucky. You have to go on pokerchipforum.com and search out the group buy section, or perhaps the classifieds, and uh, track these down. Right now, there is not a group buy going on for these, but there may be in the future, and if you're really nice, you might be able to scoop these up, but you cannot get them through retail. So don't try. This is a uh, Diddy Kong, right? Or Donkey Kong Jr., I guess we call them. The bananas, it's just awesome. This, um, we'll look at these in stacks later, and this is probably my favorite chip in stacks. And we've got the 1K, the workhorse chip of most modern tournaments, Mr. Wario. Wario! Not my favorite character. <laughs> it's kind of gross, but uh, the purple W's and the chip itself, just uh, pretty dynamite combination there. Gotta love that. And who's the big chip? Of course, it's Peach. Yay! Luminescent pink. Um, the video's probably not even doing this justice. It's one of the brightest pink chips I've ever seen. Uh, Instax, you see the detail, the star on the edging there. Just uh, beyond gorgeous there. Gorgeous chip. And uh, we'll reach in the back here. When you have three tables and 20K starting stacks with re entries, eventually you may need a 25K chip. So I've got uh, 25 of these, which is plenty for a three table tournament with 20K starting stacks. And that's, uh, this looks like, like a Koopa, right? <laughs> Very cool, the tournament chips are dope. Let's move on to the cash set. If you're a home game micro stakes player like me, you have fracks. This is a frack, this is 25 cent. You'll notice that there is a currency sign, but we still include the coins. This is the big man himself, DK. <laughs> Donkey Kong, same on both sides. Uh, yeah, very cool edging. I love the uh, you know chocolate chip cookie colored frack works great in a set with a white dollar and this this might be my second favorite chip in the whole set. I always say I don't like white chips or black chips, but boy, I just love this. I just love the design that the artist made. It's just I mean with the little poker chip stacks and it's toad. Here we go. And Toad's always been my favorite. I always played Toad when I played various versions of Super Mario Kart. Love it, love it. And of course the workhorse chip for most cash games, small stakes, is the $5 chip. And it's Mario himself. Hello, it's me, Mario. On a workhorse showcase chip, makes sense. 
Love the splash of blue on the sides, a little tiny splash of blue in his shirt. Just makes for very cool chips in stacks. We will look at these chips in stacks. And lest we not forget, I for home games, I prefer a $20 chip. That's the option we have here. Now you'll notice it's very similar to the tournament 1K chip. <laughs> so I would not have these two sets out together and play at the same time. If I did, I would just yank these uh, $20 chips because they're way too similar, way too easy to get mixed up. But very cool. I love a yellow 20. Home games, $20 increments are the best because everybody buys in with 20s. Oh, and don't let me forget Mr. Rebuy back here. So I wish I bought a lot more of these. These are great if I was gonna have a, you know, a tournament with limited rebuys or limited re-entries. Just so cool to have the, you know, the one-up symbol, the extra life. Ah, the, the detail's incredible. The designer just really knocked it out of the park. You got the little blocks and the fire flower. I wanted to call it an infinity star, but that's not what it's called. It's uh, invincible star. Very cool. Rebuy printed on the edge. That is so cool. This is what I thought I ordered. Well, it was just this, but I realized I also ordered some samples of some of the other options. So let me bust those out for you here. I do play a show me or a show them side game in my tournaments. So I bought some of these, did not buy enough, right? How cool is that? So a show them is a side game that I will explain in another video, but we do play the show them side game before the break in my tournaments. I've got an all in button, which is kind of cool. You could give one to each player and they could use this to indicate when they are all in. It's cool, the color yellow being the same, I think it would get lost if you were using a yellow chip in your tournament or your cash game. Then I also got this one, which game over, I think this indicates a rebuy. I think this means, you know, I'm out of chips or re-entry, so if I have limited rebuys or re-entries, I would use this. I think that's what that means. And this is a really cool one. I bought a couple of these for our cash games. This indicates that there's a bomb pot in play. If you don't know what bomb pots are, that's a subject for another video, but it's kind of neat. And also I should point out that I got just samples of alternate uh, tournament chips. These are alternate tournament chips for the ones I got. It said Wario on the 500 and Donkey Kong Jr. on the 1K. The 1K is really neat because of the bananas, but I really preferred the Wario 1K to the Diddy 1K because there's no purple in this. Uh, and then I prefer the Donkey Kong Jr. to Wario over in the 500s because the dark purple eh, might be a little dirty with the 100s, whereas you'll never have a dirty stack with the red and the black. Anyway, these are cool alternate versions. I just bought uh, one each of these just for samples. And there you have it. These chips are just so dope. And a, yet another example of exclusives that you can only get through PokerChipForum.com. Here we go! All right, all right, all right. Let's look at some stacks. Look at these gorgeous chips. These are my favorite chips of the group in the stacks. We got the red, we got the white. $1 and $5 chips are so awesome. We got the pinkies, we got the greens. And of course, we'll do a little sound check here. This is gonna sound like all 100% ceramic chip sound. Yep, I love the, the harder edges of these and that they're shiny and that they just look amazing. Of course, they shuffle great. I am a mediocre shuffler. Shuffling goes. <laughs> I suck. It's funny because I shuffle a lot when I play uh, poker. There's that. Yeah, these are definitely my faves. Oh, and the pink, I was trying to mention earlier just how vibrant it is. I know the video's not doing it justice, but boy. It just zings and sings. You notice all the little details too, the bananas on the Donkey Kong Jr., the W's on the Wario. This is crazy, the, the Luigi one. Uh, it looks like there's a, a little pipe. The green pipes, you know, because it's a green chip, the green pipes that you go in and out of when you're playing uh, Super Mario. You can see the pipe in the background there. Every time I look at these chips, I see a different detail. Just amazing, just outstanding. These are 39 millimeter chips, by the way. And in case you doubt me, look what I got in the mail. This is the silliest thing ever. 
This is how you know they're 39 millimeter, is that you go like this, and you go like that, and boy, you can see when I started it was 0.1, so really these are probably 39 millimeter exactly. Uh, BR Pro's quality control is super duper high, uh, so you're going to be, you know, down to the micrometer here accurate. 39 millimeter standard poker chip size. There's been talk online in the forums about doing 43 millimeter versions of these. I would not be shocked if that came to pass. And of course, as long as we're doing ridiculous things, uh, <laughs> measurements, might as well weigh the chips. Now, uh, ceramic chips from BR Pro typically weigh uh, about nine and a half grams. That's typically what they weigh. So let's take a look. Oh, I was way off, 9.53 grams. So yeah, <laughs> nine and a half grams is the standard for what they weigh. Uh, typically, if you go on um, cheaper poker chip sites, it'll say 13 grams, casino weight. No, that's not true. 13 grams is way too heavy. Casinos are typically nine to 10 grams. So you have it, proof that chips weigh what they weigh. Oh, that one's a little under. Hmm. Yeah, we're talking about tenths of a gram here. So right around nine and a half grams. Yeah, 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 there you go. I'm gonna be holding on to this set for a while. I thought I might just sell it uh, for the same price that I bought it, of course. But, I, you know, these chips are pretty cool. I think I have to put them in play, definitely in a tournament, if not a cash game. So that's it for now. This has been another poker chip video. We got more mixed game tutorials coming up. Stick around for those. I know you guys have been very patient. I appreciate it. But I will say goodbye for now and peace. We out.